Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am trying out this new Demon Brush Technique. So if you guys don't use the Demon or don't know what it is, it's basically a styling brush for curly hair. It separates the curls and makes them more defined and is less frizz. So if you guys don't know how to do that, I do have a video on how to normally use the Demon Brush, so I'll link it up here. Um, but this is definitely a new technique. This isn't how the brush was like intended to use, or not how they intended it to be used this new Demon brush technique. So I've never tried it before. Um, so we'll see how it works. But basically you kind of put your hair through the Demon brush and then twirl it around the end. And it kind of creates like this like really beautiful, like uniform defined curl. I haven't tried it yet, like I said. So we'll see, um, no expectations going in, but every person that I've been seeing do this, like on TikTok and Instagram Reels, their hair just comes out super, super defined, no frizz at all. Um, but I did just get out of the shower, so my hair is wet. I am gonna be using... So I'm gonna start off with sectioning off my hair. You wanna be doing this too on like really wet hair. You don't want it to be damp. You want your hair to be kind of soaking wet. So I do have a little bit of a leave-in. Um, in my hair already i just left in like my conditioner from the shower i'll link what i use on my shampoo and conditioner in the description down below um and then i'm going to be doing the demon styling and then i'm going to go in with the gel so the gel that i'm using is the curl smith curl defining styling souffle so this gel right here and i'm going to just detangle it with this brush this is like literally the best brush that i've ever used it's the epic professional wet brush and it is just so good for detangling wet or dry hair. Like it's one of the best brushes that I've ever used. So I'm going to be using small sections and I'm going to just kind of see, I've literally never done this. So basically what they did is normally you would just kind of go through and then like scrunch it or whatever, but instead you're going to take it. You're gonna pull it through and then you're gonna start twirling the hair. It's kind of hard to see because my hair is literally black, but you're gonna start twirling the hair on the brush. So literally like a curler. And then you, how do you release this though? Oh, there we go. Oh shit. Okay. Like that. And so I wanna just scrunch it. Okay, so that's the technique. I'm gonna do it one more time though, because that was kind of confusing. So you're gonna take a small section of hair, go in like you'd be normally styling it. And you start wrapping it on the handle of the brush and then release. Ooh. Okay, I'm kind of getting the hang of it. So I'm gonna go through my whole head and do this. And then at the end, I'm going to just put the gel throughout my whole hair versus doing it and then gelling each little section. It just like really doesn't make sense when people do that. Um, but if that's something that you want to do, you go right ahead. But I just don't have time for that. Another little tip just before I speed this process through is you want to take small sections and don't worry about um, like basically how big the curl is, like the chunk of curl, because you could separate them at the end, like when it's all dry. And so that way you're not getting like too big of clumps. Okay guys, so this is my hair. It's definitely a lot different than when I normally just do the demo. And it's like, like literally like little like barrels. Um, like what's her name? Little Bo Peep. Um, <laughs> I'm literally just putting some gel in my hair now. Just to kind of set it. I'm really just curious to see how my hair looks. I know it's going to be super defined and this is definitely not a technique if you want a lot of volume. Um, so yeah, I am going to diffuse it though. 
if I let it air dry, it'd probably be even more defined, and I just don't want to, like, be sitting here picking through and separating all these curls. That's why I kind of, like, did small sections. Okay, so, like I said, my hair definitely looks a lot different than it would normally when I'm doing the Demon Brush. They're a lot more clumped together, and they're not as separated, um, which is fine because, like I said, you could separate them when they're dried. Um... But yeah, I'm very interested to see how this turns out um, and how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and dry my hair off camera and then I will come back with dry hair. I can't even snap and do a cute little transition for you guys because my hands are soaking wet and they got gel on them. So I will be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back and my hair is pretty much all the way dry. I'm just going to lean back so you guys can see the full length of everything. So, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that this is my, like, more damaged side. I had, like, way more heat damage on this side than this one but overall this technique literally gives you like really really defined really pretty curls i did separate them i have hair in my mouth always um i did have to separate them some of them separated um their own like when i was just like blow drying oh my god this is why you don't wear lipstick when you have curly hair no but as you can see like the hair is just so like it is very uniform it is those really really pretty like just really defined curls really separated and really really pretty the only thing that i will say is that sometimes when you do this technique if you have like wavier hair it can actually stretch out the curl versus helping it become more defined and kind of like versus springing it up like you would a ribbon picture like when you put a scissor on the ribbon it springs up but sometimes it like strains and it gets really weird so sometimes that can happen and on the more damaged pieces of my hair like you could see the ends like let me try to find a good piece but like okay like this one like this is literally disgusting zero out of ten don't re don't recommend um but then you have these other pieces in the front or like the pieces back here that are just throughout the hair just super gorgeous super springy and just really healthy looking and i don't know just sometimes though you will get like whatever that is is just we don't like her um but sometimes that happens when you have wave your hair to like your whole head i'm saying like so just be careful um see what works best for you what technique works best for you um i know especially with like finger coiling which essentially is what you're doing with this you're wrapping your hair around and then releasing it um but instead of your fingers you know, you do it with the barrel of the brush. I do like this technique better than finger coiling. I don't know if I like it better than just using a diamond how I normally do. Um, I definitely think on some like sections of my hair, I do like this technique better. Like, especially for underneath like my hair. Like, I don't know. Like, they just look so nice. Like, just super clumped together. Um, but for the top of, which has, by the way, way more definition underneath here for some reason, um, um, my hair, super defined, always super, super healthy, like never damage, um, really, really coily hair underneath here. But then on the top of my hair, I think this technique kind of just stretches it out a little bit too much. So I think using the Demon normally would be a little bit better. So I would definitely recommend this technique though because it really did give me like look at like such beautiful curls um but then on the top of my hair yeah it's all right like it's not the best like i think that the demon kind of does a better job on the top of my hair which obviously the top of your hair has is getting hot water on it all the time in the shower it's getting your heat on it like so the hair underneath is more protected that's why it's usually more healthy so i just think for me personally i would like a combination um but yeah the demon brush is just amazing i highly recommend it no matter what technique you're using definitely get it definitely try it it totally changed um my hair especially when i was transitioning from straight to curly this really helped kind of speed that process along and get my curls back so they're like natural pattern i just think it's really pretty i don't know i just even though like some parts of my hair like you could see here on this side is a little janky like it's still kind of throughout my whole hair it looks very defined and really pretty so i do recommend this i really really liked it it did work <laughs> out for me um i was a little nervous that i was going to stretch my curls out completely but it didn't so definitely try it you guys and yeah i've been using a lot more moisture products too because it is 
getting colder, so that could have an effect on it too, you know. Um, in the summer, I use more of like protein-based products, and in the winter, I use more moisture because there's no humidity, it's really dry, it's really cold, so my hair needs that moisture. So just kind of be careful with the products that you're using too because that can definitely affect your curl pattern and texture and everything else. So that is my little spiel today. Um, I hope everybody has an amazing week or weekend whenever you're watching this. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you're going to try it out, if you have any other techniques for definition. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.